There aren't many people outside Asia that carry around a Xiaomi product or have heard of one, but chances are that this is going to change soon. This year, Xiaomi chose the global venue of the Mobile World Congress to unveil the Mi 5, and now the whole world is watching. The Mi 5 is a sub $300 smartphone with a 1080p screen, Snapdragon 820 chipset, and a 16 megapixel camera with 4K video. It also has a fingerprint scanner under the display, one we found to be faster even than Touch ID on the iPhone 6S. The Xiaomi Mi 5 feels unexpectedly light when you pick it up. It's also quite pocketable and easy to use single-handedly. There is Gorilla Glass 4 on the front and back. The metal and glass curve together on the back creating a subtle slope that aids in handling. The display is a 5.15 inch LCD of 1080p resolution. The panel is sharp and very bright, but can also get extremely dim for use in dark environments. Color fidelity is great and this screen is highly viewable outdoors. Xiaomi Mi UI software is in its 7th version and is built around the latest Android Marshmallow, but looks closer to iOS. There is no app drawer and even no Play Store if you get the Mi 5 from China. Mi UI has a flat, colorful look, but you can theme it to your liking. The Xiaomi Mi 5 runs like a champ thanks to Snapdragon 820. The chipset trades blows with the Xenos inside the Galaxy S7 and the A9 inside the iPhone 6S, but guarantees the best possible performance for 2016. Furthermore, the phone never got uncomfortably warm and it certainly didn't come close to overheating. What's even more impressive is battery life. The Xiaomi Mi 5 ran for 92 full hours before crying for some charging, and recharging is among the fastest around. The camera is a Sony Mate 16 megapixel unit that's capable of 4K video, but what's unique about it is the 4 axis optical stabilization. The photos from Mi 5 are great. Detail is sharp and plentiful, colors are nicely accentuated, and the dynamic range is wider than average. The images have very high contrast too. It's low light and panorama where the sensor isn't very impressive. The front facing 4 megapixel snapper is great though. The new OIS system of the Xiaomi Mi 5 is quite capable, but isn't the best we've seen on a phone. You get what you paid for isn't the mantra for the smartphone world, but usually it means the phone is overpriced. Here it's the opposite. The Xiaomi Mi 5 packs LG G5 or Galaxy S7 level of hardware ability, but for half the price. As is usual though, it's hard to get your hands on a Xiaomi smartphone as they are either sold in China or imported from Asia. Great importers will readily ship a Mi 5 to you anywhere in the world, but no carrier in Europe or North America will carry it anytime soon. The Xiaomi Mi 5 is hard to get a hold of in the West, but it's even harder to resist for what it brings to the table. So we won't blame you if you crave for one.